What I got out of all of the experiences that I had with Angeline, because there were quite a few, is that she just has such an incredible spirit that when you're done in her room, I mean, she hopefully felt better, but I felt like I could just go out and conquer the world, having like rocky music behind me down the hall, waiting to see the next patient. She just really inspires you. I am, I guess, who I am. I never try to be someone I'm not. Like what you see is what you get with me. Always tried to give the best that I can to anyone. I had a lot of pain in my knees for years and um, so I didn't think anything of it and I kind of ignored the, the knee pain for months because I was at I was in college and had other things to do. My knee blew up into like a football and it was huge and I finally showed my mom and she freaked out, sent me to the ER and they took an x-ray and found that it was a huge tumor. In I was diagnosed with osteosarcoma cancer in my right distal femur. Um, they told me at first that I would only have to do six rounds of chemotherapy. And after the six rounds of chemotherapy, they were gonna take out the tumor, and then if it was over 90% dead, then that was super awesome, like great chances. They added, you know, up until 19 rounds and 21 rounds, so they kept just adding and adding and adding. It was a really rough ride. Um, at one point, they told me I only had a 50% chance of living. After Angeline's diagnosis, she kind of pushed away all the things that she found joy in her life. She played guitar, she was learning to play piano, and then she got this diagnosis in her freshman year of college at the University of Arizona, and things just kind of were pushed away for her. I absolutely stopped listening to music. I stopped playing music. I never picked up my guitar. I didn't pick up my CDs. I just completely put it all away. Music just reminded me of everything I didn't have. So I think in bringing in music therapy, we were able to embrace her spirit to bring what meant the most to her back. In general, I am a very stubborn person. And so when I don't want to do something, I'm not going to do it. And so I didn't want to play music. I said, no, I don't want to play music. I don't want to sing, like leave me alone. And Angela's like, no, play, play, play. And she's very pushy. And I love that about her. She's super pushy and super lively and she's just wonderful. She's a wonderful person. And she eventually pushed me to do it. I don't believe that I would have survived without the, the wonderful staff that Cardin's provided for me. Honestly, like they, there's just some wonderful people that work there. Just they care for you, like the, the, the amount of love that they have for you, the oncologists, the nurses. <laughs> I have taken my illness and I have turned it into something good instead of something bad. Because a lot of people think of cancer as like immediate death. And I kind of took my cancer and I changed it around and I took it as more of an experience and a learning experience. 